Hello and welcome to our video on quantifiers. Uh, we're going to start with going over the three basic quantifiers. So let's write them up there now. Our first quantifier is going to be all. Our second quantifier will be sum. And our third quantifier will be none. Okay. Now none could be also like no one or nothing. And all could also be worded as like everyone. But we're just going to stick with these three basic quantifiers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over how to negate these. Um, and so I'm going to use a very simple uh, example for each one. Uh, might sound even kind of ridiculous, but I think it will do. All right, so let's say our first statement is all people are blue. All right, and then we'll have some people are blue. And then no one or none are blue. All right, so this is going to be the example we use. And we're going to go over how to negate these three. So let's go ahead and start with our first one. Now, when we're talking about negations, uh, we're kind of talking about the opposite of what we're saying. Or uh, the way we're going to use it is um, to find the negation would be what would have to happen for me to lie. Like I make the statement, all people are blue. So what must happen in order for me to have lied? Because whatever that whatever happens would be the negation, because that would be the lie. All right, so let's take an example of, say we have a room. Okay, and in this room, we're going to have a bunch of people. So let's, and forgive me because I'm, I'm colorblind, so I, I want to say that this is blue. Um, so let's, you walk into a room, and this, this happens. Is this blue? Again, let's, let's pretend like this is blue. I'm sorry for if it's not actually blue. Okay, so you walk into this room. Okay, I make this statement, all people are blue. You walk into this room. Have I lied to you? Of course not. You know, you walk into the room, everyone's blue, so I didn't lie to you. So what would have to happen for you to walk into this room and from, you know, say I'm standing out here and I say, hey, go in that room over there. Everyone is blue. So you walk in, everyone's blue. I haven't lied. So what must happen for me to have lied? Let's take a look at this example. So now if you walk in, you see this person here. This person is not blue. So you can go out, you know, you can come back out of the room and then come over to me and say you lied. Okay. So all that must, ha all that has to happen for me to have lied is for you to walk in this room and find at least one person that's not blue. I mean, we have one, you can have another, like here, you know, now we have someone else that's not blue. But point is, as I walk in, someone's not blue. So what's the negation to all people are blue? In other words, what would make that the lie? I have the negation down here, which is someone is not blue. So that's all that has to happen in order for this statement up here to be a lie, would be that someone is not blue. You might also see this, at least one person is not blue. Uh, it means the same thing. So even though we're not using the word someone, uh, someone does, there are other ways of saying someone. Well, anyways, let's move on to our second quantifier. For our next quantifier, we are going over the word someone. So you can say it like someone is blue, or you can say some are blue. Um, they both mean the same thing. So we're going to use the example of the room. And let's put a couple people in the room. Now for this example, you can, assuming this color is blue again, uh, you walk into the room, I claim someone is blue, now everyone is blue, but again, it's, it's, have I lied to you? So 
Um, if I say someone is blue, the only thing that you should be expecting is that at least someone in here is blue. Because remember, someone also means at least one. So you walk in, at least one is blue, so no lie. So don't, don't think that the negation of someone is blue is uh, everyone is blue. Okay, someone is blue is just kind of like a weaker statement um, because if I now have this um, happen, you know, my statement is still true. Someone is blue, right? Because you walked in and, well, this person's blue and this one and this one. So, you know, there's at least one person is blue. Um, you can have everyone but one person. So you can have this. Let's erase that person. You can even walk in and this happen. Okay, someone is blue. Here it is. And so you're not a liar. All right, so what has to happen for me to walk in and then say, nope, you lied to me. Someone is, you know, and this be uh, very careful with this. The negation of someone is blue is not someone or is not someone is not blue. Okay, so let's. Because I want you to look at this. This right here, uh, the statement I just said, uh, someone is not blue. This is also true in this case, right? Someone, by the way, this arrow is not pointing to that person. Uh, it actually would be you know, pointing to these people. These people are not blue. So someone is not blue. Um, but someone still is blue. So also... A very common mistake would be that people would say someone is blue, negation, someone is not blue. And that's not true because here's an example of where both of these are true statements. And if that happens, if it's possible that two statements can be true at the same time, well, they can't be negations. Okay, so this is not the negation. So come on, Brian, what would, ha what would be the negation? What would have to happen? Well, again, if, if I claim that someone is blue... When you walk in, the only way that you could lie is if you find that no one is blue. Okay, So someone is blue, the true negation would be that you walk in and you find that no one is blue. So I've written the negation down here, no one is blue. Um, now because words can kind of... Uh, let me rephrase that. Different words can represent the same thing. So no one is blue. You can also have none are blue. And the one that uh, gets people quite a bit would be the last one. All people are not blue. Or you can also say everyone is... Whoa. That's better. Uh, you can also say everyone is not blue. Okay, so let's move on to our third quantifier. Now we should be able to do this one a little bit uh, quicker because I think we're getting the hang of it. Uh, so our third quantifier is uh, going to be none are blue, or you can say no one is blue. Okay, these mean the same thing. All right, so let's get an example here. So what? let's say none are blue. Let's take a look at none are blue. Now clearly, when you look into this room and you have all these people in here, no one is blue. So no one is blue. Here we go. All right, so now I claim that you walk into the room, well, what must happen in order for this statement to be a lie? Well, take a look right here. You walk into the room, this person right here, and again, sorry if this is not actually blue, okay, but here's a blue person. So now, if I tell you no one is blue, that's what you're expecting. You walk in, you see somebody who's blue. So you can come out and say, hey, Brian, you lied to me. So the negation to no, none are blue or no one is blue, the negation is going to be someone is blue. Because that's all that has to happen in order for you to walk into this room and to come out saying, hey, you lied to me. So all you need is that someone is blue. Notice that it's not someone is not blue. Okay, uh, so be very careful with that. Okay, so to summarize, we're going to have our quantifiers and the negation. 
So we have our first basic quantifier, which is all. And the negation is some are not, or you can say someone is not. All right, our second quantifier, some are, or you can say someone is. Uh, the negation is going to be. We actually added a bunch of different ones. Uh, so some are will negate to none are, or no one is, everyone is not, or all are not. And then our third quantifier, we have no one, or you can say none, uh, and the negation was someone, someone are, or sorry, that should be someone, oh, these are the same, oops, that's better. So the negation of no one will be some are or at least one.